Hello and welcome to the Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia Trivia Challenge. Episode 15, the two contestants will be Brandon and Nick. Hi. Hello. <laughs> that was a heartfelt welcome in, guys. <laughs> uh, so th I'm the host, Brad, and we're going to get started with this. We have uh, quite a few questions. The rules will be the same as last time. You will buzz in with your name. You can use your real name or your true name. King, Nick, Brandon, Crisis, however you want to say it, just buzz in with the name. We have special guests with us. We have Samuel. Hi. Logan. Hi. Jordan. Hi. And Willie. So. I like that. <laughs> so so uh, before we get the festivities going on, I'm going to ask the kids a few questions. They wanted to be in on this. They're going to be listening into the podcast. So if a few uh, first words are dropped and they're present, please. Have mercy on us. <laughs> Sam, you're the first one up. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> what is your name? Sam. What's your real name? Hair. And what's your element? Fire. <laughs> so, no, you're not done yet. Come here. Don't back away from the mic. You recently conquered two classic NES games. What were they? Mega Man 1 and 2. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> you never beat Mega Man 1. I'm not done with you yet, <laughs> No, of course, you, you beat Mega Man 1. It just was the final um, screen that got glitched on. You did beat Wily using the glitch, but then a bad <laughs> card glitched stuff on you. So, wait, wait, he used the electric man glitch on him? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's karma. That's why you glitched up. He also used the Elect Man glitch on the Yellow Devil and on the Mega Man clone. After that, I told him, you know what? The Elect Man, does it, the Elect Man glitch doesn't work on any other bosses from here on out. <laughs> Just to mess with him. So, what was the hardest part for you on Mega Man 2? The alien. The Wily alien? Yes. I recently played through Mega Man 2 on the PlayStation 2 version as well, just to get the credit. And I found he actually moves in like kind of an infinity symbol. Mm -hmm. If you just get that down, he's so easy to beat. I didn't get hit on him once. Yeah, I noticed that too when, after beating it a second time. He, he only died once on him because I got hit by the blood lava. And then I killed him <laughs> the next time. The blood lava. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, anything else you want to say about Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 1? No. Are they way better than Madden? Yes. All right. Heck yes. <laughs> Logan, you were had a special appearance on episode twelve, I believe. Uh, so, how have been things been going for you since then? Good. <laughs> have you started school? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's doing some comedy now, changing his voice. <laughs> Give us your best Mega Man impression. Mega Man Eight. That's quite an impression. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite Mega Man game? Mega Man 10. You know, with all this Mega Man talk, I think we should turn it into Mega Man hunting for the <laughs> We're like other jock right now. Next up, we'll have Willie come on up. Brandon's son. He's drawing his notepad. So, have you started school yet? No. When will you start? Uh, August 12th. Wow, that's quite a few few days away here. Monday. That's, that's when Jordan starts as well. So, you have any girlfriends yet? No, I'm not dating at all. How many girls have you told you love them so far? What, like two? Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's commitment right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, um, that's younger than I started. No, that's Jordan. <laughs> Mackin. I'm not mad. <laughs> I remember those days, my Mackin days. <laughs> I still Mack from time to time in my life. Okay, let me tell you. By Mack, notes. I mean smooch. Oh, man. Oh. That's the G rated version. Get a little fresh right there. Freaky, freaky. Dorian, your turn. Don't pick over your water. Don't knock the ball in the house, Sam. Okay. So, your name? Jordan. When will you start school? August 12th. The same as Willie. I think we already realized that. <laughs> How many girls have you told that you love them? Nine. Why not? Because I'm new to my school. How many girls have you crushed on? 
two. <laughs> is Angelina one of them? No. <laughs> Angelina is Nick's cousin around the same age. They're friends on Facebook. And they used to text each other too, so oh. <laughs> so I kind of find that hard to believe my lie detector is going off. <laughs> the eyebrows are that twitching thing. <laughs> <laughs> so is his pants. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. I believe that's all the kids. Do any of you else want to say anything to contribute to the podcast? Hell to the king, baby. Hell to the king, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Shuffle up and deal. Nice. You guys could have a seat now. As I said, Sam, don't sit in the air, sit on the couch. I'm going to go up to, I'm going to have t-shirts made for all the kids that says treasure hunting for nostalgia and send them to school in it two times a week. <laughs> That's a good time. Red. Yours can be red with black lettering. I, I would say make one for Willie, but he has uniforms. Can he wear a sign on his backpack? <laughs> we'll give him a patch. Can he expose tattoos? <laughs> tattoos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! Okay. Logan, I want you to sit down on the couch. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. So, as I explained earlier, the rules are the same. Simple. Uh, if you listen to the other ones, you buzz in with their name. If you get it right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, you lose the point. You cannot dip into the negative, and your opponent can buzz in to get the same amount of points. Let's start off with a round of Rochambeau to see who will go first. Do we want to go over the categories and what the winner and loser gets? I will, after we do the Rochambeau. <laughs> Crisis <Ooh>. one. <laughs> Here we go. The, the categories are music, world series of poker, hell to the king baby, Snoochie Boochies, Sports, which was very difficult to come <laughs> and Potpourri. All have ranging points from one through five. The winner gets a prize. Runner-up gets a prize. <laughs> Loser gets a yellow onion shot. Yep. Brandon's going to juice an onion. Loser will have to take the shot. Uh, Onion. Here we go. Crisis, start us off. Uh, let's go. I kind of want to save the fun ones for last. Uh, let's go Potpourri for one. For one point, name one of the two cock members who was responsible for breaking my closet. Crisis! Two. Jason Johnson. Name one of the. Now, as, as you may know, have heard, uh, we were the California Outcast crew. Members, who was responsible for breaking my closet in 2002? Jason was one of them. Aaron was the other. Yes. Good job. Jason Johnson on the warpath. Take his, <laughs> take his away. Uh, let's do uh, sports for two. True or false? In disc golf. It is grounds for punishment to carry an illegal disc. Kane. Uh, true. The answer is false. <laughs> yeah, you could have guessed it. <laughs> I wasn't going to let you guess it. Uh, I said no. Know how pathetic that is? I've been playing disc golf for the last six months and I didn't know that. <laughs> the official ruling is you could carry an illegal disc, but you cannot use it. Can, Can I, I ask it? Oh, that's... Can I ask where the illegal di disc is? I was going to ask Kane there. Oh. That, I, to be honest, I don't know. I would assume it has something to do with... Speedles, maybe? Speedles. It has, like, needles on it or something? No, speed holes. Oh, speed holes. <laughs> I thought you said speedles. <laughs> like needles that contribute to the speed of the disc. <laughs> now, if you guys uh, didn't hear that, Logan was... <laughs> Being the wind that he is, it knocked my whole cup of water <laughs> over. I think you dropped shot. it. No, it hit his head. And <laughs> <laughs> it is very important that kids stay on, seated at all times. <laughs> on, you, on the couch. <laughs> after you clean up this mess, Logan. Jeez, I swear, this is like the fourth time the kids have needed discipline. 
Okay, come come wipe that up. Let's get a fresh paid piece of paper here. Brandon is up. Uh, let's go. Music for three points. Name three Talking Head songs. I can't name one. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> all you, Crisis. Do we got a timer? Because I'm not answering. Five seconds. <laughs> uh, crisis. Oh, just in time. <laughs> uh, uh, burning down the house. Yes. Uh, Psycho Killer. Yes. And Once in a Lifetime. Same as it ever was. Oh. was that Nick, the... would you like to answer? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of dirty. Okay. <laughs> you didn't let him answer the disc golf one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to refrain just in the sake of sportsmanship. What a great sport. <laughs> Prices. Did I lose points on that? Yes, you did. You're down to zero. But from now on, it's 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 all out. No mercy. <laughs> Cobra Kai. Yes. <laughs> Sweep the leg. Uh, Pope Free. Pope for two points. I just have to reread these questions just to make sure they're appropriate for our guests. <laughs> I believe they all are. What was the cake modeled after at my Halloween party in Carmichael? Crisis. A spider. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, spider was also dyed with a blue green dye. Also turned everybody's poop blue. <laughs> yeah, whoever ate it. We were freaking out, calling each other next day, making sure. When you said house in Carmichael, I instantly went to the bachelor party, and I was thinking of like female genitalia that <laughs> might have been designed as a cake or something. Crisis. Uh, let's go. Let's go WSOP for one point. World Series of Poker. Piqued my interest this past few months. Actually, thinking about playing in some tournaments. Hmm. Which poker player is nicknamed the Magician? Kane. Uh, Antonio Asfandiari. Correct. Let's stick with that one for two. I'll be in the lead for a second at least. <laughs> Who won the 1998 World Series of Poker and is also nicknamed the Prince? That's a two-point question. I don't, I don't even have a guess. I, I, I would guess. I'm not guessing, but I would guess Doyle Brunson Jr. No. <laughs> no. Can, uh, can I just guess just for the sure. sake of guessing? Um, the Prince. Jesus. Uh, I can't think of anyone who would be the Prince. Huck Seed, I guess. I don't know. Scott Inouye. Ah, okay. Oh, that guy's uh, tight. He wears the gold chains. And he's, yeah, he's the guy that says baby at the end of every <laughs> sentence. Um, three. World Series poker for three. You got a baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is Phil Hellmuth's favorite hand. Uh, Kane. Yes. <laughs> well... There's two answers to this, but I, I think you're going for pocket nines. That's right. I'll say pocket nines. Why pocket nines? Because he won, <clears throat> like he won a few events with he it. He won, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. And one time uh, he actually lost. He almost won, but he said that pocket nines would have went down in history if he won that. <laughs> so am I in the lead right now? You are. It's four to two. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with it for four. Four points. What two poker players practice the suited connectors theory? I know one, but I, I don't know. I who know the one too. One would be Nick Ronan. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to risk yeah. it. I, I want to be in the lead for as long as I can. Those are four. That's a four point question. That's a good good tactic, guys. Daniel Negrano and Huck Seed. Huh. I didn't know Huck Seed was that imaginative. Uh, I'll, I'll go for the five. In 2012, these two women almost made history. Kane. There you go. Uh, Gail Bowman and Elizabeth Hill, I think her name is. Perfect. 
In 2012, these two women almost made history by almost making it to the final table, but were eliminated in the 11th and 10th place for having a period. <laughs> <laughs> by the same person. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that would have been a good question to ask who 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 eliminated them. Yeah. I, I couldn't answer that. Do you know who it was? It was some um, like Russian guy or something. Oh, I, I know Vladimir. <laughs> it's something with a K. I, I remember. Yeah, him. yeah, it was something with a K. Um, music for one. What is Bielzo boss's weakness? Crisis. Rocket sauce. There you go. What's that from? Tenacious D. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's go music too. Does it say that in the song? Or is it in the movie? It says, in the, we know your weakness are rocket sauce. Ah, okay. <laughs> and it's also in the uh, tribute music video as well. They fight the devil and they hold up rocket sauce. <laughs> Name two Rush albums. Kane, uh, 2112 and Moving Pictures? That's right. Was one of them XYZ Dragon? <laughs> you know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't one like ZZYXZZ? That's one of their songs. Oh. YYZ. YYZ is one of their songs. But I think you're thinking of that road that we passed on the way to Vegas, remember? Yeah. There was yeah. like an XXYYZ. Yeah. And I said it reminded me of that YYZ song. So the score, Nick, six, Brandon, one. I only have one point. Wait. I think you have more than that because you got that um, you have three points. Tenacious D one. Oh. He nodded up. Nick's turn. Did you pick after that? After you got that one? Or did I pick? I think I might have I, picked I picked. You. Me, me, oh, you went, yeah. you went with it? Okay. Let's uh, keep going with music then. Music for four. Name any four Metallica band members. Kane, Lars Ulrich, Kirk Hammett, James Hetfield, and Jason Newstead. That's right. Uh, five. Music for five. Nick, ten points. Brandon, three. Finish this cake lyric. I want a girl with uninterrupted prosperity. Who uses a machete to cut through red tape with fingernails that shine like crisis justice? That's right. Nice. <clears throat> Eight points. Nick ten. Uh, let's go sports. So do you just like memorize kick lyrics or what? <laughs> I just heard that like last year and I was like, that's such an awesome line. <laughs> no, I, I always. It plays a lot on the radio, and I just know the song. And, and um, I have a few kick albums. I have all of them. I didn't know the answer to that. I like that song, yeah. but I don't. I don't memorize all their lyrics. Some of their lyrics are pretty far out there. Brandon, some people like Pepsi. Some people like Coke. I'm a Coke man. The wacky oh, morning dude. DJ says democracy is a joke. <laughs> Coke man, but Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is better than Diet Coke. Uh, let's go with sports for one. Do you believe in the one day? What country is curling thought to be invented in? Kane, Canada. No. It's for one. Don't be gay. Uh, crisis, Finland. Scotland, almost. Uh, hmm. That's a one point? Yes. Oh. Uh, three point sports. What NBA team won the most championships? Kane. It's either the Lakers or the Celtics. Um, I'm going to go with the Celtics. Correct. Yeah. 12 points. Two, Brandon, seven. Sports for four. Here we go. What is the biggest fish to be caught professionally worldwide? Cane, uh, a, a marlin or a swordfish? Close. That was the second. I was going to guess marlin. I gambled. I didn't. I don't really know. <laughs> Let's 
Still in the lead, eight to seven. Brandon, you want to guess? Not officially. Okay. Unofficially, I would say sturgeon. Uh, bluefin tuna. Uh, Twelve hundred ninety-six pounds. Wow. I think I, I'll, I'll finish off sports for five. Okay. Hopefully, this isn't an obscure sport. I don't remember my questions. Name three current San Francisco Giants. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Tim Lincecum, Buster Posey, and Andres Torres. I'm um, I'm going to challenge that. <laughs> I'll, I'll name six more if you want. I'll go for Linda Cohn. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I was going to challenge. Great <laughs> Okay, Nick has 13 points. Brandon has seven. I'm going to save the worst for last. Uh, Brandon's going to dominate the Snoochie Booches and Hell to the King. So uh, I'll go with Potpourri for three. What part of the body is Johnny supposed to sweep? Pain. The leg. Aww. When oh. you said that earlier, I was like... Oh. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Uh, Puffery for four. We have 16 to seven. In culinary terms, what is a trifle? I know what it is, but I don't know what... I don't know what that means in culinary terms. I'm yeah. staying away from it. That's all you. I'm not guessing. A crisis. A layered cake with fruit and whipped cream. It's a layered dish. It doesn't have to be a cake. Uh, <laughs> it could be a seven layer bean dip. Uh. <laughs> Close though. I know you're thinking of the cheesecake trifle that I make. Bump you down to... Three. Sixteen to three. Nick dominating. Full three for five. What rock song was played at my wedding that we tried to slide next to? I would make an unofficial guess, but I'm not not gambling five points on it. You have two points, Brandon. Crisis. Epic. I would not have no. guessed that. Oh. I'm sh pretty sure it was a Metallica song. I'm not I'm not officially guessing. I'm unofficially guessing. I'll say Enter Sandman, just because it's a cheesy Metallica song. It was it Smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh. Uh -huh. So, zero to 16. Uh, Snoochie Boochies, for one. Have to use some discrimination here. So, fill in the blank. I assure you, we are crisis open. Yes. <laughs> five. Snoochie Whoa! Bridges. Five. <laughs> He's tired of losing. <laughs> Two movies are the line. Tell them Steve Dave used in Crisis, Mall Rats, and James Hunt Bob Strike Back. Oh, that's right. Seven to sixteen. It Four. wasn't in Clerks. No, nah, they weren't. Walter and uh, Brian weren't in Clerks. Well, Walter was in Clerks, but not his fanboy. Brian was in it too, wasn't he? He was not in it because him and Kevin Smith had a tiff, and that's why he wasn't in Clerks. Walter was I thought in. I played Snowball. No, that's Scott Mosier. Oh, that's Scott Mosier. Oh, okay. And you were up the Sushi Boosie questions thinking that Brian Johnson was Snowball? Well, <laughs> I guess. Did, didn't that come up in Clerks 2 or something, though? Hmm. No, the, the Tell Him Steve Dave thing? No, Walter no. wasn't in it. Hmm. It was at the end of Jan's Hell and Bob when they were looking at watching the movie, and then they're like, it's t let's go see the time, and they all ran across the street. I remember that. Four points, Snoochie Boochies. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys run them up? <laughs> Is this a Zach and Mary question or something? <laughs> no. Kind of, though. According to Banky, Superman's cum shot would be like what? Not <laughs> Crisis. 
a shotgun blasting through Lois Lane's back. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's four points. Is Brand in the lead yet? No. It's 11 to 16. Okay, guys. It's coming. Three points. <laughs> Perfect. What song is Serendipity dancing to in Dogma? Crisis Candy Girl. Fourteen to sixteen. Finish out three booties. Man. Name two of Kevin Smith's dogs' names. Crisis Shecky and Mulder. Tied up sixteen to sixteen. Hell to the King Baby one point. Give me two Ash Catch phrases. Okay. Hell to the King Baby and Doesn't he say give me some sugar too? Yep. I'll say give me some sugar. <laughs> Seventeen, Nick back in the lead. <laughs> uh, same category for two. What do the two false Necronomicons do to Ash? Crisis. Uh, suck him up into a whirlpool and stretch his face out <laughs> and turn into a bat flying monster and bite him on the hand. <laughs> I wasn't going to give it to you until you said bite him on the hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty uh, detailed. Uh, three. What are Ash's two main weapons? King! A chainsaw and the car, right? Did the car not count as a weapon? No, it doesn't. That's not fair. The kids are telling <laughs> uh, Christ is the answer. <laughs> I didn't know it. I object. <laughs> we'll roll the question out. Yeah. No interference. <laughs> I still lost my three points though. It Just because I figured you'd know it. I'm sure you knew it. Chainsaw and boomstick or chainsaw and sawed off shotgun. I would not have accepted shotgun if you were going to say shotgun. How come the car doesn't work? I think you're being a little prejudiced. He does use a car at the end of the fight. That's not his main weapon. Uh, he four. mowed down hell of freaking <laughs> goblins with that thing. <laughs> I object. What are the three words Ash needs Kane. to speak? I know you're going to get it, so I'm just guessing at this point. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, I just saw the play. We, Brandon and I saw the play in uh, Vegas just about a month or two ago. It's like, Ectu Nosferatu Jadaruma. I don't know. <laughs> Crisis. Klatu Verata Niktu. And that's also what is said on the mon mon on the monkeys television show. Do you remember that? Yes. So I, I guess Army of Darkness got that from the monkeys. Yes. Five points. Or Wait, am I gambling for no reason? Is there like a bonus question or anything? There are bonus questions. Oh fuck! <laughs> I'll let you take that back since that was not disclosed. <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell us that. <laughs> We're at eighteen to twenty-two. What magazine is seen in the trunk of Ash's car? Oh, man. Now that I know there's bonus questions, I'm not gambling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. All the items in the trunk of the car were, were actually items that Sam Raimi had in his car, because that was his car. Huh. Fangoria magazine. Mm. As it stands, Nick, 18, Brandon, 22. Anything could change in this bonus round. Nick, since you are behind... Uh. I will let you choose your category first. Get to the Chapa <laughs> or Metal Mania. I gotta go with Metal Mania. <laughs> so this is a timed question. Nick gets to go first. I have a phone. And then the user stopwatch. Sure. You have 40 seconds to write 
as many Metallica songs as you can. Go! Bingo! I skipped, I, I skipped, uh, I, I should have got three, damn it. I wrote down Unforgiven 1 and uh, 2, but I should have done 1 and 2 and 3. Yeah. There's <laughs> an Unforgiven 3? Yeah. yeah. I don't know that. It's on their newest album? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I think it is on um, I'm going after Death Anger. Magnetic or yeah. whatever it's called. These are worth 3 points each. We have Enter Sandman, Blackened, and Justice for All. Blackened again. Two <laughs> <laughs> Ravens to Die, Wherever I May Roam, Unforgiven 1 and 2, for a total of... I wrote black and black. <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> 18 points. And I believe you had 18. God. I, I don't know what Get to the Chopper could be. There, There's a ton of Metallica songs, but not a lot of Predator stuff. Well, that's your problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, you need help? Yeah. Okay, now because the Metallica songs are longer to write, you only have 30 seconds. <laughs> it says that on here too. Okay. Name as many Schwarzenegger movies as you can in 30 seconds. Okay. Go. Okay. With three points each as well. You have Twins, Kindergarten Cop. That's Predator. Predator, Commando, yeah. Raw Deal, Sixth Day, End of Days. He got the same. Means I lost. <laughs> Nick is the unfortunate <laughs> loser. <laughs> Do you want your prizes now or after the punishment? I'll just take the punishment. I was I'm prepared I was prepared for it. <laughs> you did a valiant effort, only lost by be six, four, right? six points. Oh. <laughs> um, J Jordan said he would take the shot with you. You don't have to do that, Jordan. I mean, he actually wanted to. You're um, a sick man. I'll drink the cup. I'll drink the cup. Is it yellow? They're gonna record me, right? Huh? I suppose probably yeah. to see how gross it is. To hear the the gagging sound and the vomiting sounds. That's <laughs> not creepy. You don't think so? No. My taste buds. I don't think it's your taste buds. Oh, it's still recording. Yeah, you're recording right now. Are you confessing you to your love? <laughs> When I put the second blackened, I was thinking of one, and for some oh. reason I just thought I just wrote down blackened. Um, I do this with one is a three-letter song too. I could have, if I had gotten that and the one, two, and three, I would have tied. Yeah. <laughs> then we would have to do a tiebreaker. Oh man. What's a tiebreaker? A fight to the death. <laughs> I would have had to think of a tiebreaker question. <laughs> if I had written down one instead of the second blackened and written written one, two, and three for Unforgiven, I would have tied. The question to you is uh, how many times it uh, uh, I'm going to use it again in the chopper. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we record the thing on your phone? Yeah, sure. Go okay. ahead. Okay, so Brandon is preparing the yellow onion, or liquidated yellow onion, and he did this to, because he read on the internet that it raises testosterone levels. <laughs> I don't know. I told Jordan not to do it. He's in high school now. He said I'll take a lot of it. Okay, I just walked in the kitchen and I wasn't even near the blender and my eyes are burning. <laughs> Second <laughs> gross. <laughs> Alright. So you just have to hit record. Alright. What? <laughs> Well, let, let Nick go first and then we'll take you guys. Should I have somewhere to vomit? Is it going to make me vomit? Uh, I didn't vomit. I didn't. Did it make you want to vomit? It, no. No? It's no. just gross? It, it's just intense. Is it worse than, worse than Ron Nate? Alright, I'm okay. going to go. Okay, recording and Nick is about to take his punishment. Uh, 
juiced onion. <laughs> not too bad. I mean, it's gross. <laughs> that's horrible. Don't make me do that again. No, that's not that bad. Oh, oh wow. Maybe you're just a bitch. Maybe. But when I, <laughs> when I took it, it burned my stomach. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if this is high school drama or I'm sad it was. Did he say he got in his eye? Oh, in my eye. In my eye. Okay. Oh, he seriously hurts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> every time you breathe, it go in your eye. <laughs> oh, damn. You want that? Damn. Huh. Scott sniffed the onion juice. Oh, did you? Oh. So it wasn't that bad. Wow. I mean, it's not just as good, but it's not that bad. I was prepared to like Dork. vomit, Dork. Like, uh, like a la Steve Day, or oh, Steve Day by Steve O and the uh, Jack Up and. What? 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 No, stop. What? All you do is make me cry. Part of the punishment is you get, you can't wash it down. There's no um, what do you call it? What do you call it when you get like a chaser? Chaser, that's what, it, what I was looking for. Okay, go sit down on the couch. We gotta close out. No chaser. Brandon, you wanna come close it out? Don't want to get prizes? Before oh, you? shoot. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Okay, prizes. Here we go. Brandon, for winning, you get this prestigious metallic triforce. Oh, that's oh, Hecatai. Like, it's a pin. It? I'm so wearing this right now. Oh, my dad has that. It's a prize. It's, you, you get it for buying the special edition Legend of Zelda Gold DS. Oh, that's Hecatai. So that is now yours. Uh, take a picture. Anyone? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait. Who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like holding up. Take a picture. <laughs> okay. For Nicholas Allen Jones the first, you um, did not get a chance to play Mega Man Five, did you? No, I don't think I ever played that one. Well, now you can enjoy it. Oh, that's so tight, dude. Thanks a lot. All eight to Mega Man's. It yeah. is brand new in the package. <laughs> I was actually just looking into getting this, too. Thank you, man. Yeah. I, now I don't, I don't have to keep borrowing it from you now. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a perfect run out for it. It's great. Thanks. So, Speaking of prizes, did you ever get baseball stars to work? Almost. Almost? <laughs> Trying all your tricks to get it to work? Yeah. Um, so we're going to finish up this episode of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia. This is your host, Brad. This is Kane. Crisis. Have a good time. Happy hunting.